Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. Our class today is uh, about one of the most important sections in chapter P. Do you remember what I have told you about the importance of uh, section P2? We can we can consider also P6 as uh, as important as P2. P6 uh, will be used the shabab heavily in in the next sections in P7 in B8 and also in the whole course. And in fact, it is about a single idea. What is it? How to do factoring? How to factor? After finishing this section, you will be able to factor out the common factors, to factor trinomials, to use the special factoring formulas, and to factor completely, and finally by grouping. I, I believe that today we will try to achieve the first two objectives. If we can do more than that, this, this will be good. So what is factoring? Who can tell me what, what is factoring? What you understood about? Uh, Numbers, it's, uh, so when you talk about numbers, oh, every expression. Yeah. So, uh, we try to call variables or, or polynomials and to make it simplest way. You can do that in several ways, but factoring, as uh, you mentioned, it is uh, a project that uh, become a factor. Factoring is writing expressions as a product of two similar factors. Let, let, let's, let's relate it to this. What do we have here? Do we have factors here? Yes. These are two factors. If you look uh, what we did in, the, in P5, when we multiply these, when we expand the, the multiplication here, what do we get? X squared minus what, uh, what we did now, Ya Shabab, when we have this and we write it like this, is this factoring? No. This is not factoring. This is expanding. This is, uh, you can consider it multiplying, uh, simplifying, but not factoring. The factoring is the opposite. The factoring is when you have this and you write it like this. So the another way, this way, here, going from the left to the right, when you have this one and you write it like this, this is factoring. Like 21, 21 is what? Yeah. It is a three times seven. So we did factor it. Usually, of course, not always, the factors, the factors are similar than the number. Here, look, the factors here are similar than the, the polynomial that we have. We were having here a polynomial of degree two. Now each factor here is a polynomial of degree it is linear factors, so they are much easier, much simpler. In general, in general, x minus two and x plus two, they are called the factors of x squared minus four. Like here, three and seven are the factors of 21. In general, the factoring is writing an algebraic expression in general, not necessarily a polynomial. It is writing an algebraic expression as a product of simpler Simpler algebraic examples, and, and it is the reverse process of expanding. Yes. Uh, the factors must be right? At the end, to be able to factor it completely. Yes, we will mention this later. We will see later what we mean by prime polynomials. By prime numbers, we know what is the prime numbers. You know, Shabab, that this is the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. You can write any natural number as a product of prime numbers. Excellent. So the first, uh, before starting factoring, you have to distinguish between two, two terminologies, factors and terms. Look, here, two times three here, these are what? Two here, two here is a factor, three here is a factor. When we have multiplication, we have factors. When we have addition and subtraction, two here, two here is a term, three is a term. So here we there are terms. So when we multiply two numbers together, each, each one of them is called a factor. When we add them, each one of them is called term. Now look here, how many terms we have? We have two terms. Now in the first term, how many factors? In the second term, how many factors? 
three. Now, do you notice something? There is a factor that is here and here also. We will call this common factor. Common because it occurs here and here. It appears here and here. So it is, it is a common, yes. Now, using the distributive property, do you remember the distributive property? When you have A plus B times A plus C, it is just A times B plus C. We will use it here to factor this A out. So you will just take it out, this A. It is a common, you will factor it out by the distributive property and you can check your, your factoring. Now, what we did from here to here is factoring by factoring out the common factor, okay? Now, let me uh, give you this easy example. 3x squared minus 6x. What is the common factor? Remember that you need to factor. So it is, it is similar, by the way. You cannot simplify it anymore, but you can factor it. So how to factor it? The target, the target is to write it as a product of two factors or more. So now you will ask yourself always, always, when you want to factor, ask yourself this question. Is there a common factor? Do we have a common factor here? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. 3x. You are right. The common factor is 3x. How you obtain 3x? Three, three uh, From where? The term the... Now, so what we will do here, you factor 3x out and you will open brackets. What we will write here, Shabab? X minus 2. X minus? Why? How? Because we divide the... No, look, you can check, by the way, 3x by x, it will be 3x squared, and 3x by negative 2, it will be negative 6x. You're right. Divide, You're right. Aha. Uh -huh. In fact, in fact, I want you to know this in general, not only for this easy one. In fact, yeah, Shabab, we don't do that always, but in fact, this is what is going on. In fact, we have, when we have 3x squared minus 6x, what do we have? We have 3 times x times x minus, what is six? It is three times two times x. Now look, we have here one term and here we have one term. Look what is common now. What is, what? Three, it is here and here. X is here and here. So now we, when we take it out, when we take it out, what is remaining here? Minus, what is remaining here? Two. So this is in fact what we, uh, need to do always, but usually we don't do it because it is clear. If you want to find or to factor out the common factor, factor each term such that it will be a product of a prime factor. So then factor the factor the uh, take out the common. Okay. Exactly. Not the same way in the step in step number one in the factoring. But when you factor out, you are not taking the LCD. You will take the GCF the greatest common factor, as you will see. Now, uh, so uh, what is remaining is what is not the common. In fact, I heard someone of you, they said dividing. Yes, it is. You can think about it like that. After factoring out the three X, divide the first term by three X, divide the second term by, 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 by the common factor. Now three over three will be one, X squared over X will be X negative over positive is negative, six over three is two, six, X over X is one. You can think about it like that. Yes, there is a division in, in, in this. It is the reverse, the reverse operation, the inverse operation of, of multiplying. Now, what are the common, what is the common factor here? We have three factor, three terms. We have three terms. So here, the, 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 the GCF, uh, let me show you the name, the greatest common factor. Why do you call it the greatest, by the way? If you didn't take the greatest, you will still have common factors. Let, let's see here. Now, we have here the, the coefficients 8, 6, and 2. What is the LCD? Uh, sorry, the GCF? You, you have here 2 times 2 times 2. Here you have 2 times 3. Here you have 2. So what is the one that is all, uh, common here and here and there? It's 2. So the, the GCF is 2. x to the power 4, x to the power 3, x to the power 1. What is that is here and here and in each term? It is X. If you cheer, no, X to the power four, it is here, but it is not here and there. You have here four X. 
Here you have three, here you have one. In the, in, for, for the y, the shabab, you have here y to the power two, y to the power three, y to the power four. Which one, which one is here and there and there? Y squared. So this is, why they call it the greatest, the greatest common factor? You cannot find more than that. In fact, if you said why, if you said why, you are right. It is a common factor. Why is a common factor, Shabab? Because here and here and here, but it is not the greatest. If you didn't take it, you still have a common factor. So you should factor all, all the common factors by taking the greatest uh, common factor. How to take the greatest common factor, Shabab? Just look at the smaller value. It is the one, the, small, the smaller exponent, the smaller power. It will be repeated in every term. Now, after we, we factor out the common factor, what we will do? Let me show you here. Here we are. This is the common, the greatest common factor. After we factor it out, what we will do? We will divide eight by two, four. X to the power four by X, X to the power three. Y squared by Y squared, one. Now, similarly, six over two is a three. X to the power three over X is X squared. Y to the power three over Y squared it is Y. Negative, don't forget the signs. Two over two is one. X over X is one. Y to the power four over Y to the power two. It is y squared. You can always, what is good about factoring? No mistakes. Mistakes here are not allowed. You are not allowed to do uh, any error. Why? Because you can check your answer. So don't, don't submit your quiz or your exam before checking the factoring. How to check the factoring, yeah, Shabab? Just apply the distributive property. Multiply. If you get your, your uh, algebraic expression back, then you are right. Otherwise, you are you are wrong. So you can you 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 can know that if your answer is right or not, or not. Do we have here a common factor between these two terms? Yes, yes. We have here mainly mainly two terms. This is one term. This is another term. X minus three. This factor. How many factors here? One, two. Here we have two factors also, five and x minus three. So we can factor x minus three as a common factor. We will open a bracket. When we take x minus three, what is remaining? Two x plus four minus five. Now you can simplify. This will be x minus three times two x minus one. Now how to check it, Shabab? If you want to check your expression, check here. Check here, not here. If you check here, you will not get, of course, that. You will get an equivalent statement that is equivalent to that, but it is not written in the same way. By the way, is it a problem if I put x minus three here, I factor it to the right? It is the same. The multiplication is commutative. I think this is what he did here. Because it was written to the right, on the right here, he just take it, factor it out to the right. It's okay, because the multiplication is commutative. So do you know how to uh, factor out the common factor? This is what you need to do, Shabab, always. To, uh, when, you, when you want to factor uh, any expression, start asking yourself, what is, is there a common factor? Like here, I will skip this, Shabab, solve exercise. It is already solved for you. Look at this. What is the common uh, factor here, the GCF? Between 14, 28, and seven, it is seven. And here you have n plus one to the power three, to the power two, to the power one, you will take m plus one to the power one. It is here solved. Now, let me be first solving like this, by the way. I, I, I should mention this, Yashabab. The difference also be, between expanding and factoring. When you, when you expand, you open the brackets. You get rid of the brackets. Look here, when you have something multiply, some, when you multiply, no more brackets. But when you factor, you are what? You are creating a uh, creating a, a bracket. You, when you look here, we don't have brackets, but in the final answer, we have brackets. Now for this one, Shabab, when you take here, for example, seven, here we have seven and n plus one. This is the GCF, the greatest common factor. Now you will open brackets and you will write, divide. So 14 over seven is two, this over this, it is n plus one squared and so on. Now here inside, inside this factor, you still have a work to do inside the factor. You can simplify more. What you can do here, you can expand. So this will be what? 
n squared plus the n plus one. Here you can distribute the negative. It will be minus four n minus four. Now you can now distribute this to more. It will be now combine the like terms. This will be canceled and you will have two m squared minus five. minus five, minus three, because you have plus two here. Don't forget plus two. So now we Shabab, we did factor completely. Uh, some of you, they may say, we, why we cannot factor this more? Let me, I will mention this in the next class, but let me uh, mention this here. M squared minus four, you can write it as what? M squared minus four can be written as, as M minus two times M plus, we, did, we can factor it. 